have glitter all over my face from that gold. By the way, that was an incredible press. Glit, 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 glitter. If you guys have not tried it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Amanda's Aesthetics. For those of you that are new, I'm Amanda. Today, we are going to be doing another painting inspo video, and we're gonna be using this gorgeous painting. This is another one of my pretty early ones, one of the first that I did, and I do really like this color scheme going on, so I think it'll be fun to kind of mess with this color story. I did go through my palettes already. I am not going to give you guys a number to how many palettes we're going to be using because that seems to kind of change anyway, but we will count along the way to see how many palettes we end up using. As you can see, based off of my shirt, if you guys have caught along by now, this is definitely going to be a purple look and I think it's gonna be something super intense, which we seem to do a lot on this channel. I already did my face for time's sake because I tend to make these videos very long, which I am working on, guys. I'm sorry, I just feel like I have a lot to say and there's a lot that I feel like I wanna share with you guys, but I am gonna try and keep my videos a little bit more brief from here on out. We are also going to be doing something new today, which I'm super excited about. I've been wanting to do this since before I even made my first video. I've had this idea for forever, but we're going to be starting to include satisfying videos within each video. So I just thought that that was something that I know, who doesn't love a satisfying video? I mean, everyone loves something that's satisfying and this channel is all about aesthetics and being aesthetically pleasing and so I think a satisfying video just kind of works with that. Today's satisfying video and the first ever on Amanda's Aesthetics channel is by the very lovely Andrea. Her Instagram is Honeydew Gloss. I will go ahead and link her up top and in the description down below. She has very, very aesthetically pleasing photos. If you have not already, go check her out. Shout out to her. Thank you so much for letting me use this video in my video. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. Guys, I don't know about you, but this is the epitome of satisfying. The way that every product just perfectly slips into exactly where it's supposed to go is just so satisfying. Like all the compartments are perfect for each product and the way that she puts them is just perfect. Some of them are angled, some of them are straight, just, Yes, thank you Andrea, very much enjoyed watching that video and I'm sure all of you guys did as well. Now let's jump right into the makeup look. Palette number one that we're starting off with today is Milani's Most Loved Mauves palette and I'm going into the shade Bust a Mauve and using that as my transition shade all over my lid and crease. This step I always decide to do after I've already started my makeup, but I did decide to add some tape to the sides of my eyes so that at the end of the look, the eyeshadow wing line will be very sharp and defined. And then I went back in with the shadow bust a mauve and just applied that where I applied the tape. Going into my customized Lethal Cosmetics palette, I am taking the shade Transmutation, which is a very matte black, and putting that on the outer corners. I will also hopefully be doing a review on Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows, including their new After Dark palette, so look out for that. Taking my Morphe 35V palette, I'm going into the shade Bad Boy, which is this plum purple, and putting that on the sides of where I applied that transmutation black, just to help the black blend out and to smoke everything out a little bit more. And I also decided to take it into my crease to add more definition.
Palette number four is the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette, and I'm going into the shade, I believe it's pronounced Soiree, which is like a lavender, and I'm putting that in my crease and blending that into the dark plum purple. I wanted to make sure that the inner corners of my crease were very pigmented as well. And I also took the shade out above the wing. Back into the Morphe 35V palette, I'm taking that shade Bad Boy again, and I'm putting that on the center to outer part of my lid. I'm just deepening out that outer corner and blending out that black shade a little bit more. Going in with my Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer in the shade 1 Ivory Light, and I'm using this to cut the crease. Now, this step I have always feared. I am so terrified to cut the crease. I usually just try and avoid the area that I want to add a lighter shadow. So this is actually my first cut crease, so don't judge me, guys. Originally, I was going to just do a half cut crease focused on my inner corners, but I did decide to pull it out and extend it towards my outer corner a little bit more. And I'm using my finger just to blend out that harsh line. Palette number five is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, which I actually did a review on. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. I'm going into the shade Ladyship, which is this berry fuchsia shade. And it looks a little bit more berry in the palette than how it did on my eyes, but I'm putting that in the outer corner next to the plum shade and just blending everything out before I go in with that light shade on the inner part of my lids. I had to take a little intermission and put my hair up because it was like 90 degrees the day that I shot this. Taking my Urban Decay Honey Pot palette, I'm going in with the shade Drizzle and just setting my concealer on the inner corners. And then going back in with the shade Ladyship from the Queen of Hearts palette, I'm just blending everything out. Palette number seven is the Pro Fusion Topaz Gems Pressed Glitter Palette, and I'm going into the far left lightest gold shade and applying that to the inner part of my lids. Also, I did not wet my brush or use any glitter glue, this is just the pressed glitter itself. Which means I get fallout. Back into the shade Ladyship just to help blend out the gold. I'm taking a little bit more of the pressed gold glitter and putting that over the shade that I just applied just to help blend everything out more and give it that nice gradient effect. Taking my Colored Rain Power Palette, which is another great palette, I'm going into the shade Alibi and just popping that on my outer corner. going in with Ladyship again just to help blend out the shade Alibi that I just applied. And I took a little bit more of the pressed gold glitter just to make sure that all of the shades were blended out. On the very outer corners of my lower lash, I'm going in with the lethal shade Transmutation. Taking Ladyship, I was originally planning on just blending out Transmutation and taking that to the center part of my lower lash, but I decided to smoke out my entire lower lash with this shade. Last but not least, palette number 9 is the BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette, and I'm going into the shades Kaleidoscope and Ombre and mixing them both, first applying Ombre and then topping it off with Kaleidoscope on my inner corners. And I also put some of Kaleidoscope up above my brow bone. For liquid eyeliner, I'm using my Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. This eyeliner claims to have eyelash serum in it to help make your eyelashes grow longer, which it doesn't, but it is a great eyeliner where I can always get nice, even straight lines.
For my lower waterline, I'm using the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Vivid. And for my upper waterline, I'm taking the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Day Auto Liner in black. For lashes, I tried out the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara in black, which I actually did not enjoy at all. I highly recommend if you're gonna get Maybelline Mascara, get the Mega Plush Mascara. And for those regulars, you know that's my all-time favorite. Using nine palettes in total, this is the completed look. Alrighty guys, I am back and this is the completed look. If I may say so myself, this was a job well done. I love this. Love, love. Love this so much. I think it matches this really well too. I think this is so pretty. I think that the colors matched really well. I had a hard time um, getting this like cranberry shade. I like couldn't find something that matched or I found something that matched like in the Color Drain Queen of Hearts palette and then it just didn't show up how I wanted it to. So I had a little bit of a hard time with that. But other than that, I mean, I think that I killed it if I may say so myself glitter all over my face from that gold. By the way, that was an incredible pressed clip, 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 glitter. If you guys have not tried out Profusion's pressed glitters, go ahead and do so. They are life-changing. I did not use any glitter glue and look at them. Incredible, incredible. Oh, that reminds me, I'm gonna set my face. Before I forget, on my lips, I have the Maybelline Matte Daringly Nude Lipstick. I love this shade. I love the shade of nude. Honestly, I feel like I could have gone even more like nude, like skin color nude with this look, but I don't know. I I'm not really tripping over the lips. I'm still mesmerized by the eye look. I think that this was a hit for sure. I can check that off the list. I'm really liking these videos, honestly, because I have so many different paintings that I don't really appreciate them like I used to. And so this is kind of like giving me a chance to look at my painting again and reminisce over it and appreciate it. And so I really like that. And it is kind of cranking those wheels of that like inspiration and motivation to do eye looks and that sort of thing so i really appreciate this i'm so glad that i've been getting good feedback on these kinds of videos i'm so glad that you guys enjoy them because i enjoy making them so again let me know if you have any requests if you want like a green yellow orange anything like that i'm sure i have a painting to match that and we can go ahead and create a look based off of that painting and that color scheme of what you want i am also in the process of creating my little intro i know i said that a while ago but i kind of got a little distracted on just kind of cranking out videos but i am in the process of creating an intro so hopefully you will be seeing that soon other than that i think that is everything everything. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. Go ahead and comment down below if there's literally anything at all that you would like to say. Again, huge shout out to Andrea. Go ahead and check out Honeydew Gloss. She is a very aesthetically pleasing Instagrammer, so go ahead and check her out. And until then, I will see you in my next one. Bye, everybody.